Social Security. You have to. We were oh, I've seen this one. Doing this. No, you cannot do this. Oh, no. You can't do this. You can't. Please, you cannot do this. We were here. It's so bad. All these people. No, because we couldn't hear anything with all the people in the thing going on. Oh, that's so sad. So oh, that sucks so bad. I have seen, I've seen parts of this clip. The kid gets very upset, which is very sad in the end. Um, Cause they missed their flight and that does suck. And the kid wants to go on vacation. Who doesn't want to go on their trip? I get the stress of missing a flight like that. It's the worst feeling in the world. I've actually never had it happen. So I don't know why I'm just, like acting like I know the feeling. Like I can just imagine the feeling like that. I almost missed a flight and that was the worst feeling ever. So anyways, this sucks. The world. Have you ever missed a flight? Tell me if you've ever missed a flight. I've been close to missing a flight and the stress, unbearable. You throw it at someone and I will get you for a song because I got you on video, lady. Yeah, don't throw stuff. I will call the cops on you. Ooh. You to Are you gonna give me a cup of coffee? You're gonna act like this. You're gonna give me a cup of coffee. Quit asking me. I'm not asking, I'm telling you, you need to leave. I am the manager. See, that's uh, this is where I always like to bring it back to. If that lady was dealing with a child who was like that, where they're having an absolute tantrum saying, please give me this thing that I want, even though I am behaving quite awfully. And then they would say, well, not until you behave nicely. And then the kid would say, well, then give it to me. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. That doesn't fly. You can't do that. That's child, no, you can't. You, you're behaving like a kid and you wouldn't have that. So the, I think a Starbucks, Starbucks employees or whatever coffee shop that is should not have it either. Hey, hey, yo, man. I, I got a question. How come my fries look like that, but that employee sitting down, his fries is nice and fresh and light? Man, 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 man. Look at this, man. man. Look. Yes? Look. Look. Look, man. That's not right. Man. I waited. I'm not yelling. I'm half deaf, but I'm just saying, look. Oh my gosh, why can't people just ask for like, you could just ask, you could be like, hey, these fries are cold, they're all wrinkled up, they're ugly fries, may I please have some new fresh ones, because I just don't think this is the quality that it should be. And nine times out of 10, the answer would probably be yeah, because it's way easier to just remake the fries than to like deal with a annoying customer so like I would just go yeah for sure no worries give me five minutes or however long it takes to drop fries <laughs> they won't let me buy a big bottle of water sir I don't think you're gonna be happy with us today maybe we should take another I flight. love Delta I've had a great experience I spent lots and lots of money at Delta I want a bottle of water I'll yeah, buy one huh? or I'll get one either way I just want a bottle of water I don't huh? see how this is a big problem it's water it's not like vodka it's just water I'm, I'm very confused. cold. I just want I water. Land, I will land the airplane middle of this country and have you removed by police if I have to. What? I honestly don't know who the entitled one is because the pilot is coming across a little more entitled than the person asking for a water bottle. But I haven't seen the whole thing, you know? But they've said, like, we enjoy Delta. I, I've flown with you many times. I spent a lot of money with Delta. I just want a bottle of water. I'm curious why they can't have a bottle of water. There's more to the story here, but like to me, it's like, I think like just get someone a bottle of water. It's water. He's not asking for a bottle of wine. Actually, but you actually, actually it is you a, are. You're interfering with a hunt. That's, that's a fine that, right there. That's an actual offense. Sure. I mean, go ahead. Not. You want a ticket? Just taking my sons out for a couple of hours. We're, we're not trying to hurt anyone. All right. Huh? She. Well, well, obviously not in a shooting range. So. Beach here. Yeah, there's lodge down there. Even we tried to stay away from there, there, so we wouldn't interrupt anybody walking. 
<sighs> okay, so I come from a rural area of Canada, which means there's hunting that happens and goes on. Me personally, I'm not much of a hunter. I'm more of a city guy. I like going downtown. Chris will tell you, I like to have a little drinky poo once in a while. He knows that. I like bars going out downtown. It's fun. Not so much a country guy. However, yeah, I can country bunk sometimes. But people gotta understand, if you've got the permits, everything's legal, everything's good, there's no harm in that really, on paper, finger quotes. Some people might not like when animals get hurt or hunted and this and that. I understand that. That's a fair, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. I understand that. But you can't block a man. Watch me. And like you said, I'm just taking my sons out for a bit. They're just chilling. They're big chilling, man. Sometimes you don't even have to catch anything or get anything. Sometimes it's just about sitting there and bonding with your dad, your uncle, your brother, whatever, whoever it is. Maybe it's your mom too. You shouldn't say just I shouldn't say just dudes because sometimes moms comes out too. So it's it's just uh, it's a different kind of bonding experience. But uh, the respect has to go both ways. That's that's the new rule. Respect got to go two ways. I am waiting for apartment three. That's not even my alarm, sir! Get your back out of the driveway! Holy are you stupid? Are you nuts? I can tell! Out of van! Out of van! Out of van! Get your car by the road to deliver to the people! Oh my god! What the hell? So we've got Battle of the Karens, and then a male Karen comes in at the last second to, I don't know, also just add in his two cents, because why not? Everyone's already doing it. I don't know. I mean, first of all, I don't know who is in the right here, but <laughs> like, was it worth yelling at? We're just yelling about a driveway. I don't know. People take driveways real seriously these days. What, what is our corporate number and what is her name? Because I'm calling in on yeah, yeah, there's two on the You don't know her name, but you the manager? I'm not a manager, I was just speaking to So what's like, your name? I, I mean, I could just describe, yeah, they gonna know exactly. You telling me that you don't know, and that got you on camera recording, you telling me you, know, you don't know your employee name, what? and when I call corporate, I'm gonna let you, and I'm recording your face, you telling me you don't know her name. I'm sure she got on the badge. Wow. So you can't, you, you telling me you don't know her name. So y'all don't have no kind of IDs or nothing telling nobody who y'all are or nothing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, this, this man's was so calm and respectful. Like props to you. I mean, I haven't seen the whole clip, but like in this clip, he's calm for someone who's being so sassy to him and they don't have name tags. I was like, wait a second, employees wear name tags, but maybe they don't anymore. When I was at Tim Hortons, we had to wear a name tag, but I also heard they were stopping that for like safety reasons, you know, because Tim Hortons has a lot of young girls working there. I mean, I was 15 when I started working there and like to have your name on your tag, like, I don't know, face to name could be dangerous. So maybe they stopped. I don't think you should have to give your name out. I'm an employee. What does my name have to do with anything? Like you can speak to my manager and say that girl right there gave me like a problem, but I don't think you need to know my name, my personal info. When can I come back? Look, they're, they're falling off. Those were my I asked, I don't have time. I just want to let you guys know this is ridiculous. No, 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 no. I, I, I I'm speaking like with her right now, though. You're being rude. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a receipt or a transaction yeah, receipt for them? Yeah. Are you the owner? I'm not, but I can understand customer service, so I'm 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 just trying to understand. I, too, I mean, if you years, anybody can flash a picture, but if you're gonna come in and make a scene in the middle of us just trying to enjoy our time, she did it. I, I mean, I would I'd love to see some receipts. I'm sure they'd love to see some receipts, right? Uh, I see this. Uh, this is something I need my sister Olivia for because I'm not that familiar with the nail stuff. The nail, uh, the nail. I guess her nails are coming off. You know. But that's that's kind of an interesting interesting thing too though because I know like like I bet hair salon like when people cut their hair they must have problems with that too like even if it's like they, it's so weird that's so weird because like it's once you do it you can't really take it back you know what I mean if you're in a restaurant and you get bad food take it back hopefully it comes out comes out better but in a salon or a beauty place like that that take, there's a lot of time that goes into that and if it's hair or something you can't even grow it back well because if you could that'd be really cool just grow ugh, grow hair on the scene like that that'd be pretty sick but yeah I, I don't know that's ah, you gotta keep your receipts. I don't know. Maybe go somewhere. I don't know. I feel I'm, I'm in favor of the establishment there. Not with her, man. I gotta say.
Oh my gosh, okay, well, I'm not quite sure what to make of this one, to be honest. I mean, you're not supposed to be just sitting in the middle of a crosswalk. They're right, I, I agree with that. But what went on here? <laughs> I'm like genuinely speechless. I don't know what to say. The Karens really have outdone themselves, okay? They've stunned me. She's under the drying. Yeah, you okay. What? Give me my money, lady. You took it, you ain't giving me my food. Listen here, sir. You're not gonna get loud with me. I'm getting your money. You need to need to call the officer down here? Please. Call him. I will. Because you took my money and you ain't getting this back. You're playing fing games. She is getting you your money. Oh my lord. Dang. Like she is getting you your money. I can like I'm I can hear the employee explaining, and she's she said, she's like, I'm giving you your money. What are you so angry about? I'm giving you your money. Well, this is stupid, and I want my money back. I, I'm so happy I don't work in fast food anymore. Ooh, I'll never forget when I moved to Toronto the first time back in 2012, because I'm not from here originally. I worked at Tim Hortons in a pretty roughish area, and some guy came in, and he was so mad about his order. I don't know. He was upset about his order. He was mad at me. I will send it back. He straight up said that he was going to fight me and kick my booty. I'm going to kick your butt twice as hard. After my shift, and he's like, I'll be waiting outside. And he literally waited outside the restaurant all day for me to get off my shift. So my manager actually walked out with me and walked me to the streetcar and made sure that I got on and I was safe and everything like that. It was crazy. Crazy. Why would you make your lover? Let me you finish my job. No, I want to. No, don't close my. Don't push my door. To go to work. Yes. Okay. Two seconds. I found. I'm driving off. That's my job. If you, don't oh, push my doors. Seconds. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't push my doors. Who's pushing doors? Don't close me. I will report you. That's the offense, and you will see. No you offense. you will be prosecuted for it because. Listen. Go. Stop touching me. No, I won't move it. Okay, you can stay here. I'll be here one hour. Uh, yeah, he looks in the back of a truck and he's trying to, uh, he's trying to get, he's doing paperwork. Hey, look, I've been there before. I've helped unload trucks and been there. I'm not a truck driver, although, look at me. I could be a truck driver. Come on, look at me. Put a little trucker hat on me. Put a little, get a little, get a little, get a robe behind me. I could be a trucker, sure. Why not? But yeah, the dude's trying to do his job. I think that, that I think might be the number one worst thing. When it's someone trying to do their job, doing an effort to, to just get the day through so they can go home to their family. And, and if you want to, you want to stop that? I think you got a problem, lady. You, you should, just wait a couple minutes. Go on your cell phone. Check the Instagram. See what's going on. You probably got some messages. If you think you're that important, you probably have messages. So go check them and just chill out for a bit. Just an idea. Fuck up, I guess. I like, thought you're, you're really gonna pay. Really gonna pay. Sign her. Man, with all due respect, you're in my lane. I should be waving up. Turn the ball. We were turning. Okay, so they crashed their car into this guy and then they're just screaming at him about it because her side hurts. I'm like, yeah, that's usually what happens when you your car smashes into someone else's. Listen, I'm not the insurance company by any stretch of the imagination, but there's clearly like a cross there. And if you're changing lanes that close to a cross, I have a strong feeling you were in the wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying. Ah, a Karen stormed into our Christmas party. White people really have all the audacity. Wait, what? She went in their house? I thought, I didn't. Okay, listen. I thought this was like a public space. Like, you know, when you're at your workplace, like you have like an open conference room or something and you have your work party there, your Christmas party. No, this was a neighbor that straight up walked into someone's house. Lady, you can't just do that. Wow, the audacity. It's on you, you, you need to move. I can move. 
Here we go then again. Do it. Yeah. Excuse me, who are you? I want his side because he's right. Look, Karen, it's time to move. Oh my god. What did she do? Just go. What are you doing? Why? And then she's squeezing behind the truck. I, I don't I don't know. Why why must people hinder others at work? Especially truck drivers, service people, anyone. The guy the guy in the back, I think I'm assuming the guy in the background was the actual truck driver or something. He goes, I don't need this. I don't need this. My husband has two jobs. He doesn't need this. He needs to get home to his family and do his job, lady. Come on. Come on! Look, uh, out! We are licensed by the city, out. so I'm we're done. gonna continue knocking. You can call the police and we'll show them our licenses. And it doesn't make a difference. This is a non city exactly. neighborhood per our covenant. Yep, and it's the Supreme Court ruled that no HOA can actually put restrictions. Right, you need to go. Exactly. As I mentioned, we are Sir, licensed by really the city. I don't really care, young man, you need to leave. Okay. Hey, ma'am, why are you, you so sad? Why are you so sad? Because you need are you to okay? leave and you're arguing with me, yeah. you need to go. <laughs> this lady just needs something else to do. You know, like a hobby, some errands, like really anything. A friend to go to coffee with, like just something to do. Cause really what this is, is somebody's just bored. Is she on FaceTime? Is she drunk? I'm not getting on this flight. I'm not getting on this flight. I'm even bachelor. Oh, here we go. <gasps> she spit. I heard her spit. I heard her spit. Oh, I can't even understand what she was saying to them on FaceTime. She kind of sounds drunk, and I'm wondering if that's what it was. Like she had like a freak out moment because she's intoxicated, and now she's out here spitting on people. Ooh. I mean, I don't have patience for a lot of things, but spit, definitely not. Mm. Someone spits on me, like. Oof, I would go to jail. Some sort of sports venue here. Good song, but. Wait, what? She pushed her? Wait, hold on, what does that say? She just pushed her? Dog, she just straight up just pushed her and then. <laughs> what was that, dude? She was walking up the stairs and the lady's like, looks like she's not even like full. She might just be taking a video nonchalantly and then the lady pushed her down and then she falls down in some. Instant karma. We all, it's karma. We we love it, we know it. Don't do that. You, okay, usually when we watch these, there's like a reason, or there's like, not a, not a reason, not that I'm condoning ever pushing anybody, but what I'm saying is usually there's a buildup. This one, she just walks up and just, ugh! Like she owns the place. Like she owns that stadium. What color, actually, what color is it? What colors are those? I'm not sure. Let us know, actually. Let us know. I don't know what colors are those. Is it college colors? Maybe it's college football. I'm not sure. Because uh, we all know that things get a little heated there, too. But hey, don't do that. Misbehaving. Three miles an hour for one. Yeah. And you're dumber than a box of rocks. <laughs> Not wearing a helmet. I'll call a cop on you, buddy. I'll call a cop on you, buddy, if you want. What did he do wrong? <laughs> what? 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. On, on a bike? 10 miles an hour. Just drive off. Just drive off. Just drive off. Call the cops. Call the cops right now. What do you do? Stop. I one of the guys on the Oh. Do you want to be fine? I can do that. Why are you getting in our face? Man, this is just like a guy who wanted to like assert his authority that he doesn't have. And then when these guys didn't listen, he was offended. Like, what did you think was gonna happen when you just randomly started telling people what to do, sir? That's not your job. I don't know who you are, man. Guess he's somebody on the board. <laughs> Get all those people down there. This is goddamn bullshit. Get your shit together. <gasps> oh. Yeah, oh. we can't fly because of your staff <gasps> Airplane. Shortage. Don't done, give me the bullshit. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. What's yelling gonna do? They're getting called tomorrow. I work yeah. for a bunch of lawyers. Okay. And they are getting and called you, in you your really head think, office. Do you think that I'm intimidated by Oh, that? I don't give a shit what okay. you say. <laughs> <laughs> Stop swearing. You're not traveling. Really? Wow. We're not traveling anyway. I want I want a refund well, we, and I want a rebook. Sure that you don't travel at all if you continue Oh, to I don't give a shit. Okay, great. Mm, well, that's nice. Ooh, you know, go, I mean, guys, like, let's be real. Call your lawyers. 
call your lawyers. What? We're just employees. You think I make the rules? Call your lawyers. Like that's ridiculous. Two, I, these people who freak out on airplanes and stuff, like you know for a fact that you don't have control of the situation. And that might be a sad fact, but that's just the reality. Like you're not gonna win the fight by yelling, by swearing, by throwing a tantrum, by spitting on people. Like, do you really think you're going to win? Like just shut up and get to where you need to go. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you gotta bite your tongue sometimes. Pick your battles. I'm quitting McDonald's. Yeah, to the, yeah. She's, she's doing something. Pink hair, love it. Why, why, like, that, look, it's like stop, well, look. There's this thing in class that used to happen to me when the teachers knew I was getting a little too rowdy. I mean, I was never throwing stuff around, but I was a loud kid. I like to make jokes, have fun, talk to my friends in class. And sometimes I got a little too loud. And they'd say, Andrew, why don't you just do a big old check-in? Big old just, so put some trees behind me or something. Put some, and just uh, breathe, dude. Just, oh uh, yeah, nice. You know what I mean? Just check in with yourself and realize maybe I shouldn't be throwing this at minimum wage employees. Maybe I should just forget whatever upset me and go home. And I swear down, bro, if the reason for this was over some chicken mac nuggies, you're gonna be in some trouble. I love chicken mac nuggies too, just as much as the next guy, but that doesn't mean we can get violent. We're at KFC. I have been waiting for over a 25 KFC minutes. Karen. She's not giving me her name. She's not giving me the number you to probably corporate. Google it. She's not giving me the number to her district manager. She wants a lot of info. I have waited for over 25 minutes. This is going to go on Facebook. This is at the KFC on West Avenue. And this is unacceptable. Over 25 minutes. Man, like just, I don't know, ask for a refund or something then and just go. <laughs> like, I didn't know what you want. Also, I would rather wait 25 minutes for KFC than get raw chicken. I'm just saying, if I had to pick the two options, I'm going with 25 minutes. People really like to freak out about like not long. I'm like, why don't you go and make a bunch of fried chicken then at home? See how long it takes. And I'm not saying that it should take that long at KFC. I agree. That's probably a bit too long of a wait for some KFC for a fried chicken bucket with some potato salad, you know, or they have macaroni salad. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, what do you eat at KFC with some French fries? That's too long. But what do you want? It's not ready yet. Are you serious? How am I going to What's scam him? He hit me. What is your problem? No, You're just being an asshole. Look, where's the damage even on her car? Dude. Maybe that? That, that is was not there. for me to decide. That you don't know what she did inside? What if she hit it? How am I pulling the scam when she hit me at a stop sign? How am I pulling that scam? You have her ID. I'll give yes, you her phone and number. Now I, need I don't insurance. want to turn in any insurance. Is that I want you her to have guy? your guy call me and I'll go and we'll look at the damage and then if it's needed, I'll give you the insurance. Well, how about you give me insurance thing. and I can call you if something's wrong with it and we can figure it out. Wait, what? Okay, so the, the younger girl that we can see in the purple leggings, that was her car. She hit the woman who was at a stop sign. So obviously she's in the wrong because the woman was at a stop sign and you hit her. Is this her dad or something? Like, who is this man? Like the woman who was driving the girl didn't even say anything. Ugh, I don't know. Weird. Karen uh, tries no, to ruin no, street no, performance. No, no, no. Hey, sweetheart, there's kids here. There's kids here. There's kids here. Oh, there's, no. There's kids. Oh. You, should, you should have some respect, sweetheart. Please. Man, that's that one. That one really hurts, dude. That one really sucks. Street performers. I got a lot of love and respect for street performers, man, because you guys are the life of the city. There's the. There it is, brother. Karen tells the cops to arrest the performers. Cops arrest Karen instead. The show is saved. There's all kinds of weird, wacky, and crazy ones, but that's that's the flavor of the city, man. And Toronto, it's no different. We got lots here. There's tons of people. You go to go to Dundas Square, you see a lot of them. It's crazy down there. It's fun though. But some people, that's their way of living. That's how they live. That's their job. They're there to to perform. It's what they do. And as a performer myself, I get that. You need to do it. Uh, but why you why you'd wake up? And on that nice sunny day, it looks like, and come down there and, and just step all over him, man. You gotta be hurting yourself, cause that's just, that's just not, that's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. So thank you, street performers. You do you. You know what? Your, your daughter's screaming and yelling at us. Yeah, because calling you're beating. There's no reason. Hi, Merry Christmas. Like, she's calling us names. Like, chill out. Listen, but you're, you're, you're in beeping. the wrong, so no, get back in beeping. your car. You're, you are beeping. 
okay? Yeah, everyone else you're is beeping. beeping. Go, go all the way in the back and, and say idiot. you're beeping. It's an idiot. Stop videotaping me. All right. Because you're a wrong. Have a nice Christmas, okay? Happy and holidays. Be, and be patient because if you know, school's not today. Happy so. holidays. So, okay, so they're in a line. These people who are filming are beeping the horn and then the other driver's like, hey, stop beeping your horn at me. I mean, listen, if you are gonna beep the horn, you gotta be prepared for the backlash. People don't like to be beeped at. Whether you're right for beeping or wrong for beeping, people don't wanna be beeped at. I'm just saying. The arrows just go this Point way. Point of view, you go to Castle Island with your family in 2016 and there's oh, no goodness. parking. <laughs> Oh, my tells me. I didn't believe it till just. Oh. Do I need to call the police? Oh, I love this. <laughs> okay, watch. Let me see. Is that enough? No. But they can't get out anyway. They can't get out. Lady, you gotta move to the side so people can get around here. What are you saying? Oh my gosh. What is happening? I'm sorry, but I love this guy's energy. That's what my wife keeps telling me. <laughs> like he's being so sassy, but nice at the same time. Like killing her with kindness and sarcasm. It's the best revenge, really. You can sing without an amplifier. The problem is the amplifier. People are trying to work. On a Saturday, there's probably nobody in the offices around here. That we look at fun. Shit, some fall. I should He's pretty good. Actually. Fumble. I thought you said I could sing without an amplifier. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what you said. Stand by me. Everybody! So darling, darling, It's gonna be copyrighted, but it's a good song. Again, the street performers thing, you know, it just let them let them do that, man. It's it's the street. You can't. I feel like it's kind of actually connected to if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. And if you got time to lean and clean, if you got time to complain about the street performers, then you're probably not doing your job because like I know when I'm working other jobs, when I'm at, when I when I was when I used to work retail, you don't have time to sit down and be like, oh man, I hate the way the people out. Ah, you don't have time for that because you're working, you're busy, you're doing things. So maybe she's not. Uh, maybe she's not doing things. We should check up on that. Keep your space. I'm not even close to you. Keep your space. I'm not even close to you. You brought dog. No, you're sitting here threatening me. No, Keep not. your space. I'm not threatening you. Keep your space. Right over here. They are service animals. No, no, Keep, your space. Keep your space. You're a liar. Keep your space. Keep your space. Keep your space. Keep your space. What apartment are you in? What apartment are you in? What apartment are you in? Oh my gosh, like, just mind your own business, you know? Let the people who patrol the trail, patrol the trail, okay? But you don't need to point at a sign. We can all read, okay? I'm just walking my dog, so mind your business. Listen, it's breaking the rules, okay? Which you shouldn't break the rules, but also don't agree with like confronting somebody when it's none of your business and really everything's fine, okay? That's bad business, that's bad for business. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Can you go, ma'am, please? Give me my keys that have my name oh on them. Oh my God, you go, they're ma please? trying to climb Give in the car. Give me my keys right. and I will let, I will back off. Can you go, please? <laughs> Why does he have her keys? Give me my keys. Can you please go, ma'am? Like you're being mad annoying right now. <laughs> I cannot. Some of these like one-liners is a vibe. You being mad annoying right now. Like that's the story of my life. Do you know how many times a day where I say that people are annoying or that's annoying? Like people, people suck. People are annoying. There's also really good people out there, but like they're still annoying. You can still be a really nice person, but be annoying. That's my rant of the day. People are annoying. You won't graduate to be anything in life? Oh! The disrespect. Oh! Gee, for Gabagool. Oh my god, yeah. Hey, listen, um, I've been there. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna. I, I, there's a part of me that goes, look, this is a graduation, it's a you know, commencement, it's an operation, the whole thing going on. It's supposed to be a beautiful moment. You're taking your next step in life, it's gonna be beautiful. But at the same time, I'm also somebody that believes in being real. I'm gonna be, I'm that's who I am. I'm an honest guy, be as real as real could be. And if there was a teacher like that who I had a few of them, uh, 
don't know why I'm doing a lot of cowboy lately. Sorry, it's because I'm so dehydrated. But when I had teachers like that, I didn't want to shake their hand. I didn't want anything to do with them. They didn't want nothing to do with me. They thought I was a weirdo. Maybe I don't know, but uh, I, I get it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna condone it. But I, I get that one. I absolutely get that one. There's teachers. And I think Chris agrees. There's some teachers that shouldn't be teachers, right, Chris? Yeah, for sure. See, he agrees with me. I have a brain tumor, and I cannot go walking from there to there. Move your car. What's wrong with the driveway? That is not my driveway. That's why that's our parking. Oh. Okay. You know, if you would be nice, if you would be nice, I would go. I no problem. You. No, I no. You started you. saying, who's this f***ing car? Okay, can you move well, it? You started off so. nasty. You gotta you you be really nice. Really See? See? You move still can't change your, your mood. It's just one of those things. Move it's a public your, street. I mean, like. <laughs> The guy said it. He was like, oh, you came up here to us out of the blue and we're angry and I mean, she agreed. She was saying she was not in the mood, but like it's no one else's problem to deal with your bad mood. That just because you're in a bad mood doesn't mean you should be rude to somebody you don't even know, especially when you're asking them a favor. Sorry, lady, not a chance now. If you said please, this whole thing could have gone differently. I'm just saying kindness will go a long way. So I just landed in New York City and I'm so excited to get, whoa, hey, I'm walking here. I'm really excited to get, listen to me, we don't talk like that, we don't say things like that, you understand? Whoa. Do you understand? Hey, sorry. Forget about it. <laughs> Oh, forget about it. That's, I'm just doing that. That's crazy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G for Gabagool. And he said, forget about it. That, that might be real. That one could be real. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's funny, though. I like it. Uh, nobody talks like that. You're the, Nobody talks like that here. Oh, you know, I, I mean, hey, it's New York. That's, that's, that's a New York accent. It's a lot of, we'll go around the corner for a cup of coffee. That's what you do. That's what you learn in film school. That's what you learn in acting school. The first thing they teach you. So, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a dialect and accent of the area. That's how it goes. He's just having some fun, but if that was real lady, just uh, take it down from an 11 to about a 6. I know sometimes that's hard for New York. Shout out to New York. I love you, but turn it down from 11 to a 6, please. Please. We were ordering we were food. We were ordering food. Are you? Yeah, and who talks like that in the restaurant? Who talks like that in the... So we have a time limit to get food? And we have a time limit to get food? Call them. No, I'm calling them oh, right now. I don't give a f Get the f out of this way. Yeah, this is going live everywhere, I'm telling you. Because that's bullshit. Here, I asked you to leave. She asked her to leave. She did not leave. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I zoned out halfway through that one, so I don't know what anybody was yelling about or what they were mad about. 